You know, in Christian ministry, we believe in our ministry here in prayer more than anything else. And we believe in healing from spiritual strongholds. This is often called deliverance ministry. And joining me today to talk about his book, also called Deliverance, is author, pastor, John Thompson. Hey, John, welcome back to 700 Club Canada. Thanks for having me. Great to see you, Laurie. Great to see you too, John. Um, thank you for this book. I mean, I'm part of the journey in your life because you're my pastor. We work together yep. and I've seen the history of this. But tell me, why did you write this book and what's your hope for the reader? Yeah, so this has been a 23-year journey for myself, you know, because you're part of our community, Lori. This was a very conservative, non-charismatic church. And this came up when people started asking for help and we didn't have the categories. And 23 years later, we said, how can we write a book that is theologically cogent, that will help both charismatics and non-charismatics talk well together? We'll actually talk about what the Bible says, what's been done in history, how people have practiced this well and not well. And then out of that, talk about how we've seen some really amazing things in our own church over the long period, and also admit some major mistakes we've made as we try to deal with this holistically. Yeah, you know what, I thank you for just your transparency of the journey. And I personally witnessed the power of this ministry. Um, mm -hmm. Some people are watching though, and they, they've got this question, John, so I'm gonna ask it. Yeah. Why do demons want to inhabit or harass humans? Isn't their fight with God? Yes, it is with God, but never forget what the scriptures teach. One of the beauties of Christianity is that we're made in the image of our creator. So every single time the demonic see a human being, think, it doesn't matter a Christian, not Christian, the worst human being ever, or the nicest Christian, uh, ni nicest human being ever. We're all made in the image of God. And so we're the image of his enemy. And remember, Satan wanted in the heavenlies to sit on God's throne. And when he was thrown out, the, think about this, the only other place in all of creation where there's another throne where God sits is the human heart. Mm. That's why they want to be around us and in us. It's mockery. Wow, it certainly is. And, uh, you know, on our show, we share stories all the time where people have been tormented by demons and they need deliverance. And each story is right. unique and different. But the one mm -hmm. true factor is Jesus always is a rescuer. So you yeah. share that demons at gain access to people Tell us, uh, what are those access points? Yeah, you know, we, I take a lot of time in the book to walk slowly through this, because there's a lot of people that say there's a demon under every bush, and a lot of people say there's nothing at all, and he's probably at, probably under every third or fourth bush. He's around more than some people want to say and a little less than others. Right. But access to scriptures talk about is if you play with fire, then fire shows up. And so in Ephesians chapter four, Paul talks about foothold. So if you're involved in habitual sin, that can be a door opening event. Uh, because in the sexual realm, we're made uh, in the God's image. And when uh, we have sex with someone, we share one flesh. In the Greek version of that is one psyche. That can be a door opening event. A lot more to talk about that, but that's definitely there. Occult of false ideas, false theologies, pride, rebellion are all places. And then the truth is, out of years of experience, when families make a covenants or agreements with false gods or other things, that can be door opening event because uh, you don't have to necessarily believe in it. The Bible's written to communities first and individuals second. So most cultures, cultures globally think communally first. So whole cultural groups or family groups dedicate themselves to certain things, and that becomes an access point. And the last thing is trauma. And actually, I've seen in so many cases people that have uh, come out of slavery, come out of sexual abuse, and actually that was the door-opening event, which is, is so angering because it's not fair. Right. But that's actually the point. This is not about fairness or rules. This is an actual war. Yes, that's right. And your book so illustrates that, John. I mean, uh, for those who haven't yet read your work, it's rich, it's deep, it's challenging, but it's full of heart towards the individual. And your book is a great resource for individuals and churches to learn more about spiritual conflict from a biblical lens, but also how our church has developed this deliverance ministry. Now, what can someone do right now, John? They may be experiencing freedom. You know, they may be experienced torment from the demonic in different ways. How can they experience freedom? Yeah, well, the first thing is you you have to meet Jesus Christ. Yeah. You have to, so many people want the benefits of Jesus without Jesus. Mm -hmm. And that's not the way this works. You, you need his lordship because the Bible actually says something pretty offensive where every human being is owned, of one, owned positionally uh, by one of two sides, either Christ 
or, or the demonic. That doesn't mean every non-Christian is an evil, wicked person, but positionally their own. So you have to embrace Christ. The, the other thing is, you know, James 4, 7 says, submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. There is a, some personal responsibility. But the big thing I want to talk about, uh, and I outline in our own journey and in this book, is this is a church thing. This involves spiritual gifts and and shepherds and leaders. And so, you know, one of my greatest encouragements is to connect to a really healthy church that looks at this emotionally, physically, and spiritually, yes. and will take some long-term work with you. Because it's not just, oh, just cast out as demons, because it's about your discipleship. It's about your sanctification. Is it mental illness? Is this organic? It's got to be worked out in community. Mm. And and that's, I know some people are like, oh, I just want the magic bullet. Well, it's it's a little bit, uh, slower than that. Yeah. But there's hope. There's hope. There's hope because Jesus does set people free. And we have witnessed that. How many times, John, have you seen deliverance take place? <gasps> hundreds. Is, hundreds and hundreds of times. Yeah. Hundreds of times. Yeah. So the message is you can be delivered. You can be set free. Free to yeah. walk, right? The way Jesus yeah. walked. And thank you for your book, John. Uh, go to 700club.ca for more info on John, for links to his book and all the infos yeah. there. Thank you so much for your life and for your ministry. God bless you. Thanks, Lori. Thanks, everyone. Yeah.